This video is for the scratch assignment to add levels to your game. First, what you're going to do is you're going to click on your enemy sprite. So in my case, it's the bat. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the control menu. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to add an if block to go underneath the last if block. So here's the last if block. And we're going to add another if block to go underneath the last one. Then from here, we're going to go into the operators menu and you're going to click and drag the equals operator to go in the top part of the if block. From here, we're going to click on the variables menu and we're going to click and drag a score block to go inside the left hand blank in that new equals operator block. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to type a number in which we want to get to level two. So let's just say, for example, that after five points, we want to get to level two. So we're going to say if the score equals five, we're going to broadcast level two. Obviously, it's still blank at this point. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the events menu and we're going to click and drag a broadcast block to go here in the if menu. And then from here, we're going to click in the drop down arrow and choose new message. Then from here, what we're going to do is type in level two and then click OK. So we're going to broadcast a message that's going to say it's time to start level two. So then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to add a receiving block. All right. So then we'll just put that anywhere in the blank space. Then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the drop down arrow in that when I receive block and we're going to make it say level two. From here, we're going to add a new speed variable. So we're going to make it so that level two makes the enemy go faster. So we're going to click on the variables menu. We're going to click on make a variable up in the top left corner. We're going to type in the name speed for the new variable and click OK. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to take the set block and we're going to um, put it up actually at the top. Um, so where we've got our set score, set health, we're going to add the new set block and we're going to change it so that it says set speed. And we'll start with 10 as the first speed, which isn't going to be too fast. So basically level one is going to be um, set to a speed of 10 for the enemy. Then from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to need to scroll down a little bit more um, and see this move 10 steps block. What we're going to do is we're going to click and drag the speed block to go in there. So instead of move 10 steps, it's going to say move speed steps. Right now, the speed is set to 10, but now that it's a variable, we'll be allowed to change it. Um, so that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to our orange set speed block. And we're going to two finger click or right click and choose duplicate. Then from here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put these new duplicated blocks under where it says when I receive level two. So basically, it's going to look like this. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to set a new speed for level two. So for example, maybe we'll set the speed to 15 instead of 10 once we get to level two. Then what we can do too is over here, you might see the speed variable. We can hide that by right clicking or two finger clicking on it and choose hide. So we don't necessarily need to see that like we see the score. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add a sprite that appears when we get to level two, just like we have game over and you win. So you're going to put your pointer on the new sprite button and you're going to click on the paintbrush. Then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to click the T in order to um, get a text box. And if you want to change things like the font or the fill color, um, you know, you can kind of go ahead and do that. But anyway, that being said, we're going to type level two for our new sprite. Um, if you need to make it larger, you can, um, but that being said, you kind of position it where you want it and it is going to show at first. So, um, we will be hiding it, but anyway, kind of get it to where you want it to show. And then we're going to click on the code tab to start coding this new sprite from here. What we're going to do is we're going to click on events and we're going to add a when flag clicked block. We're then going to click on looks and we're going to make this new sprite hide. So when flag clicked. We're going to hide it. We might need to um, scroll down to find the hide block, but then you're going to attach it to when flag clicked. So for example, if I click the flag now, you can see that the level two sprite is hidden. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click on events again, and then I'm going to put a when I receive block onto my new sprite, and I'm going to click on it and choose when I receive level two. 
Then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the looks menu. I'm going to, once again, need to scroll down. I'm going to click and drag a show block. I'm also going to click and drag a hide block. From here, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go into the control menu and I'm just going to make it so that the level two sprite will show for a few seconds and then hide once we get to level two. So we're gonna click and drag a wait one second block in between the show and hide and then decide how long you want it to show. So I'll type in three seconds, for example. So when I receive the level two message, it's going to show level two across the screen for three seconds and then hide it. And so then from here, what we're gonna do is we're just going to test it out. So um, basically what's happening now is my score is equal to one and then two, and I'm just gonna get five points really quickly. So three, four, five. Excuse the interruption, Kaylee Ray and Ava Puglia, please come to the office. Anyway, now. sorry about that announcement. Uh, but then as you can see, what happened is when my score hit five, I got to level two. And that's how you would add levels. The last thing you're going to do is you're gonna click on the share button up in the top, the orange button. And then from there, what that'll do is it'll allow you to share your game. You can then copy the URL up at the top and then you would go into Google Classroom and you can share it with your classmates by announcing the link to your class. So if you click on where it says announce something to your class and then paste the link. And unfortunately, it just took a moment to do that. So you would just simply paste the link and then you would be able to share it with the people in your class.